Appalachia Trail 2021, 6.42 a.m. Saturday or Sunday morning. Foggy as all can be. Give me another one of these days. Going to get to 93 degrees and the humidity is going to be high all day. So it's not going to be fun. And from what I understand, the rocks just get worse as we go until we get out of Pennsylvania. And they started getting bad again yesterday, right before we got to shelter. So, plan is to go 17 1 today and leave myself like six and a half, seven miles into a town tomorrow. But we're going to see how we feel, see how bad the rocks are. Everything's wet, so there's going to be slippery. So, it's going to be slow going. But at least uh, if we can get 15, that still leaves me like 9 in in the morning. So it's still very doable for early morning time. So we're trying to find the trail. We're going to get back on trail here and uh, get hiking. It's a little hard to find your way out of this darn place. There's like five trails in and out of the shelter and going to different little spots. But I think I see a blaze. It's all right, guys. It's going to be a great day. Not going to see much in the morning. And it's so wet, who knows how many times I can even pull out this phone. Gut hooks have been going nuts with all the humidity. Every time I try to touch the screen, it jumps around. But, all right, guys, we're going to see what we can show you. And you're going to see what my day's like. So, all right, guys, let's get hiking. Yes, folks, I'm going to try this for a minute so you can kind of see. But, yes, this is the trail. This is the trail. As you can see, white blazes. But this is not easy. Very hard on the feet. And I just updated the weather a minute ago. It's supposed to start raining here in a few hours. This will not be good in the rain. So I'm going to put the camera away. That's what I'm dealing with today, guys. Rocksylvania. All right, guys, there we are, 1,200 miles inside Rocksylvania, and it's been bad this morning, as you saw, and it's slippery, and it's supposed to rain at noon, so. Oh, it is? Got to keep moving. All right, guys, Rocksylvania, 1,200 miles. Hey, guys, how's everybody doing? Well, excuse me, not like I'm trying to not pay attention to y'all or talk to y'all, but. I have to watch the ground the whole time with all these rocks, but you know, this is going to sound funny to everybody. I mean, I'm more than halfway through. I just passed 1,200 miles. I think I'm actually in the mood to hike now. It's kind of odd, huh? 1,200 miles down and I'm finally in the mood to hike. <laughs> Figure that one out. I don't know. If I can do the CDT, especially if I can do it next year. I'm going to start out differently. I'm not going to start out so slow. I know it's better on my feet, but I just get in the funk when I start out slow, I think. But hey, all I'm telling you is I'm in a pretty good mood. I mean, it's hot, it's nasty, rocks. But I'm in a pretty good mood. So, all right, guys, uh, I don't know. Not quite 10 miles in yet this morning. Nope, I just got off for a. There's a road coming up here. I think that will be nine point something. So it was 17, I think 15.4 to the shelter, 17.4 to where I plan to camp, 23.7 to town. So I don't know, guys. We might end up in town today. I don't really think I'm going to do 24, especially with all these rocks. But hey, you never know. Never know what Jelly Bean's gonna do today. All right, that's the update. It's supposed to start raining here in another hour, so hopefully that that holds out. If it starts raining, I definitely won't make it to town. But uh, all right, still going. Still not much to see. This is what we got. These trees. All right, Jelly Bean's still hiking. Jersey isn't that far away. I think it's only like uh, 70 miles. 
Oh, well, you can be out of Pennsylvania anyways. So, all right, guys. Still like him. All right, folks, so I got down to the point three, and they lied. It was like point one. It wasn't even a very long walk. But we are here with the lovely trail angel, Mary. Hi there. And she's been doing this kind of stuff since 2000. And Mary just likes No, to... I haven't been. Billville has. Billville. And they but just like... I've been... I'll tell you my back story. In 2001, I was suddenly and unexpectedly homeless. I was the, I had a job and I had a vehicle. I just no longer had a roof over my head. So I put all my belongings in storage, and I was living at the Riverfront Campground at the north end of Duncannon in a tent from April 15th to September 5th till I saved enough money to get another apartment. So I started meeting hikers, and when I realized what you crazy folks do, <laughs> I figured they could use some extra potassium. So when I would leave the campground and go to the grocery store, which I had to do pretty much every other day if to get nothing else but ice for my coolers, I would buy bananas and give bananas out to the hikers on my way back in. And that began my journey with the Appalachian Trail family, and I've been at it ever since. So this year is my 20-year anniversary of being a trail agent. Now, if that isn't wonderful. So I'm going to let you go before I start crying. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, guys. I'm going to have a soda. Back on trail, guys. All right. So, you guys know, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Out on trail, I'm a very emotional person. Uh, tears come you know, all the time. You know, I mean, it, but you listen to that woman's story. Tell me if tears don't come to your eyes. And here she is doing stuff for hikers. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's just... Mary, if you see this video, true trail angel. So, all right, guys. So, sat down there uh, probably a half hour, 45 minutes anyways. So, definitely not going to do the 23-7 now. Um, and it's getting real hot too. It's really heating up. But man, that was amazing. You know, chips, soda, uh, there were cookies, cakes, dips. I had some dip on my chips. Uh, she did breakfast this morning, does dinners while she's there. <sighs> Truly amazing. You know, and didn't have anything, and she was still giving stuff away to hikers a while back. You know, I mean, come on. That's that's pretty selfless. So, all right, guys. That was amazing. I'm going to keep hiking. See if we can see anything. And uh, we'll get on down the trail. So, all right. Uh, trail Angel Mary. Blessing. Got on a little flat spot here. Not so many rocks, so I thought I'd get you guys just relax and enjoy the trail for a minute or two. All right, guys, I fucked up. The campsite I was going to, I didn't see it. Talked to somebody who looked kind of homeless. He said there was water like right where I was. I'm like, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, the campsite was supposed to be like three tenths of a mile more. I never saw it. So I'm like, you know what? I got water, I'm good. I'm just going to keep going to town. There was a climb coming up. Still had water. Didn't get water at the little creek. Fuck up. 
couple more miles or whatever. Made the climb, starting to run out of water. Found a spring, no spring. So, I basically have enough water to wet my whistle. And that's gonna be it. And I got 3.9 miles to town. Make it a 24 mile day. Plus that little half mile side trip for Trail Magic. And I got no, basically no water left. I got like two sips. I mean, it ain't nothing left in the bladder. I drank the last little bit in my, in my jug, in my bottle before I walked down to the spring. Cause you know, that the sign said spring. Yeah, no spring. So all right guys, it's 90 something degrees, humid as heck, jelly beans out of water. And I got, I don't know, 3.8 now, 3.7 now, left to go to town. So all right, but it's only 3.20. I've got 20 miles in. Even with the two breaks today, lunch, first lunch and trail magic. So, all right, I'm going to keep going. Go to town. I ain't got no choice now. I got no water. So, all right, guys. I'll see you down there. If I see something, I'll show it to you. In other words, I'm just going to hike to town. Because we out of water. No agla. H2O. Okay. I got to go. 23.7 miles to here. That last... Ridiculous. It was... It was. I don't even know how you could climb that going up. Uh, okay, guys. I made it uh, to the railroad station. It's right down below me there. If you kind of see it. Uh, oh, man. Ain't no hotels anywhere around, but I just gotta get somewhere that I can get something to drink. I had my last sip of water like a mile and a half back. There's supposed to be a pavilion off trail. I got another about a half mile of trail, and then uh, it's another like half mile off that I can stay at tonight for free. So that's where we're heading, uh, and hopefully. I find something wet because I'm dying. Oh, I saw something there. I was hoping it was trail magic. Okay, guys. I'm going into Port, Cl Port Clinton. So, all right. Oh, God. I got a guy to go straight down again. Another 100 foot. All right, guys. I'm almost there. All right, guys, so I made it to Port Clinton, as you saw with the railroad. I was really hurting when I came down. Um, stopped at, called the peanut shop, got a couple Gatorades, pounded them. Then a friend of mine, Multipass, she brought me over a glass of water, and that saved me big time. Um, then I sat and had fun with them. You know, everybody at the... Uh, restaurant bar in town now I'm walking down to the pavilion to set up a tent for the night so all right guys feel much better than I was earlier uh, so all right in Port Clinton All right, guys, so I'm in Port Clinton. Went to the Port Clinton Hotel, restaurant, and bar. Had a few adult beverages and some very good food. And the city of Port Clinton has this place over there and this whole area where uh, hikers can uh, camp for free. So, hey, that's where I am. Uh, got to get to a hotel got to do laundry got to upload videos so you guys can laugh at my ass 
But hey, it's been a great day. You know, I didn't really plan to do 24 plus today, but you know what it is what it is. And hey, it turned out to be a great day and ran into a lot of friends I haven't seen in a little while. So hey, good times. So all right, I'm gonna hang out, relax a little while and hit the rack. Tomorrow, resupply, all the shit you gotta do. So all right guys. I'm just going to tell you right now, have a great evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And thanks for watching, subscribing. We'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, like I said, but no matter what, we'll see you on trail when we get back there. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Good night.